Okay, this problem is rhetorical synthesis. We can identify it by the bullet points and the typical prompt a student has taken notes and the student wants to emphasize. In this case, we always want to identify the goal for the student, the distance covered by the Philadelphia and Lancaster Turnpike. Okay, so now I'll go up to the bullet points and find that detail or information. It was 62 miles long, so I need to emphasize this point in my discussion. So the 62 mile long Philadelphia and Lancaster Turnpike connected the Pennsylvania cities of Philadelphia and Lancaster. Yes, that states what it does and it emphasizes the distance. That's probably gonna be a right answer. Let's just check B, C, and D. The Philadelphia and Lancaster Turnpike was the first turnpike. Nope, nothing about distance there. The Philadelphia and Lancaster Turnpike, which connected the cities, was built. That's the when. That's not the distance. No focus on distance. D, an historic Pennsylvania road. The Philadelphia, it doesn't matter when it was completed or whether it's historic. We want to emphasize the distance. Only A does that. The student wants to describe how, how a fabric is used in assertion of will. So that's really how is kind of the method. I don't know how it's used, what's the method. Oracle's The Pink Universe is a 2021 exhibition. It featured eight artworks. One of these works was a painting, Assertion of Will. Okay, so now we identify the painting. Assertion of Will depicts three standing figures. The figures wear clothing made of fabric pieces stretched to the painting's canvas. Okay, so the canvas itself is clothing. That's the idea. So let's see what answer pulls that out. In assertion, the figure's clothing is made of fabric, pieces stitched to the painting's canvas. Okay, that seems to be correct. And it is emphasizing the fabric. Let's check B, C, and D. The exhibition Oracles of Pink featured artworks. No, that is nothing about how the method is used or how the fabric is used. Depicting three standing clothes figures, assertion of will. Nope, that tells who, not how. Uh, such and such was one of the eight artworks exhibited. No, that's where it was exhibited. It's not how fabric was used. Only answer choice A says how the fabric pieces were used. We want to emphasize a difference between the two muslins. Okay. So kind of opposite an agreement, how are these two muslins, how are they different, okay? I don't even know what a muslin is. Muslin are woven cotton fabrics with a variety of uses, okay? Dhaka muslin is a handmade fabric produced in Dhaka, okay? So here's one muslin they're identifying. It has an extremely fine weaves, primarily used for luxury clothing. Sheeting muslin, here's the other kind of muslin, is a machine-made fabric, so one's handmade, one's machine-made. These are differences. Made in factories. It has a coarse weave as opposed to a fine weave. These are differences. It's primarily used to upholster furniture and create backdrops, so it's not for luxury clothing. These, again, are differences, okay? So we've got kind of three differences. Let's see which pulls out the most of those. Dhaka muslin is a handmade fabric with extremely fine weave, while seating muslin is a machine made with a coarse weave. Okay, that is a difference. I want to hold on to that. Okay. Dhaka muslin and sheeting muslin are two different types of... No, that they're, it's not. We want to emphasize a difference. That's not really saying... That's just saying they're different. Okay. C. Muslins can be used in a variety of ways for making luxury clothing. No, that is just a generalization, not really saying a difference. Sheeting muslin is machine made, has coarse weave, and is used for furniture. There's no comparison here. So if I want a difference, I need two descriptions, right? I can't, that's a typical wrong answer choice. When we're comparing things, I just talk about one. I need to talk about two. A is going to be the correct answer. It emphasizes a main difference between the different fabrics. One's in a fine weave and it's handmade. The other's a machine made and it's a coarse weave. So that's the right answer. Okay. They want to specify 
who may have first populated the Azores according to the 2015 study. Okay, so we might have different studies, but who in the 15,000, the 2015 study populated it first? So the Azores is a group of islands in Portugal. Historians have long believe the 15th century Portuguese mariners were the first humans to populate a 2015 study. Here we're talking about the study we want. Co-authored by such and such found that Vikings from Scandinavia may have populated the Azores as early as the 9th century. Okay, that would specify who first populated the Azores, and it is the 2015 study, it's the Vikings. So let's see an answer choice that fix that. Historians have long believed the first humans to populate the Azores was, no, that, that's what they originally believed. That's not the 2015 study. Portuguese mariners may not have been the first. Okay, that's true according to the 2015 study. But it doesn't actually say who. It's missing the who, right? It's missing the Vikings. In 2015 study, the researchers found a genetic connection between houses. No, that is nothing to do with who first populated. That's basically irrelevant to the question. True, it's one of the developed points, but it's irrelevant. According to a study in 2015, the first humans to populate may have been the Vikings. That's it. That's our answer. Student wants to specify the number of gray wolves in Yellowstone. So how many wolves are there in Yellowstone? Gray wolves. We know it's a national park. Gray wolves were introduced to the park in 95. Since then, the number of the wolves has stabilized at 100. That's the number. That's the answer. Um, it's comparing capacity. That really doesn't answer the question. Okay. So we want something that shows there were 100 of them. Well, right away, I'm going to look for 100 in my answer choices. Yellowstone is a national park that has roughly 100 gray wolves living in it. That's going to be our answer. Okay. I'll quick check the other ones. Gray wolves were reintroduced. That's not the issue. That's irrelevant. As of 95, there were gray wolves in Yellowstone. No, we want to know the number. That's irrelevant to the question. The carrying capacity. Uh, again, we don't care about the carrying capacity. Those were different bullet points, bullet points irrelevant to the question. D is the correct answer.